Today we're talking all about blush and I'm sharing some beauty tips for women over 50 and how you can apply your blush to look years younger. Welcome back. This is Pretty Over 50. I'm Kimberly and I'm really glad you're here. Today we're talking all about blush and how to apply blush now that we're a little bit older. I know that the way that I applied blush when I was in my 20s and 30s and even 40s is different than I need to do it today because, you know, my face has changed a little bit. Things are a little bit lower and you might have noticed the same thing on your face. The good news is, is there's some great beauty tips that we can use to really take some years off our face and, and give us a glowy, youthful look. Before we get started, if you're not subscribed and you'd like to be, just go ahead and click that little red button down below. And if you'd like to be notified when I post new videos, go ahead and click that notification bell and you'll get a little heads up from YouTube when there's a new video there for you to watch. So all about blush today. I do have some great tips to share with you because we can give ourselves kind of a much more youthful, almost facelift-like look when we apply our makeup the right way. Now, our cheeks, and maybe your cheeks, my cheeks, are just a little bit lower than they used to be. You know, as we age, the features on our face start dropping a little bit. What we need to do is kind of fool the eye into thinking that our cheekbones are much higher than maybe our skin is showing them to be. So when I'm doing makeup, particularly things like blushes and contouring and even an eye look, I like to use what I call the upstairs technique. And what that means is, is that when I have a choice of focusing on an area of my face, I always try to stay in the upstairs part of that area because that's where I want the eye to go to. So when I'm working with my cheeks, I always work with the upstairs area of my cheek. Now, when I was younger, I used to put the blush right here on the front in the apple of my cheek. If I do that today, it really drags down my face and makes me look older. So I really learned to work on the upstairs area of my cheek. What we're going to do next is I'm going to give you a little demonstration on exactly how I apply the blush to really look you know, I think five or 10 years younger. So let's take a look at that right now. I have most of my makeup done. I've done my eyes, my eyebrows, my foundation and my concealer, and then just touched the outside areas of my face with my bronzer. So the bronzer has given a little bit of definition to the smooth finish that the foundation gives to my skin. Now it's time to do my blush. When I'm doing blush, I like to use what I call the upstairs technique. And what that means is, is that as we grow older, our face seems to be a little bit lower or our features seem to be a little bit lower than they were when we were in our 20s and 30s. So my cheeks, which are down here now, were probably a little bit higher a couple of decades ago, but now they're down here. So what I like to do is always focus on the upstairs of my face. And when we're talking about our cheeks, that's this area right up here. It's the upstairs part of our cheek. If we put blush down here, it really can tend to drag our face down and make us look a little bit older, and we don't really want that. So I focus on putting the blush on the upstairs part of my cheekbone area. So when you're looking at your face, what you wanna do is draw an imaginary line from the middle of your eye down, and then from your hollow of your cheek up to your ear. And we wanna focus the blush just on this area and that will give us kind of an instant facelift and make us look much fresher and much more wide awake and much more youthful. We've really drawn the eye up with the placement of that blush. Today I'm gonna to be using my Perfusion Blush 2 palette. I love this palette, it has six great colors that are perfect for my skin and the formulas are really lovely and what I particularly love about the Perfusion blushes is a few of them come with just a little bit of shimmer and I'm not talking glitter I'm just talking just a little bit of that glowy dewy look 
and I find that by using a little bit of a shimmer blush as the base, I find it really helps my skin stay just much fresher looking throughout the day. I personally like to use a smaller brush on my cheek area because I want to make sure that that blush stays right in a smaller area. Remember, we're not going to be going past the center of our eye. We're going to be keeping all the color up here. So I'm going to take this small brush, and this is a Real Techniques brush. It came in a travel kit, which is why the handles are so short, but I love them so much I've kept them on my makeup table. And I'm just going to dip it in real gently into this color up here. It's Pink Star, and this is the color that has just a little bit of shimmer in it. I'm going to tap that off my brush, and then I'm just going to real lightly apply that in soft circular motions in that upstairs area of my cheek. Just small circular motions. Best to start off with a little bit of product because you can always build up. And remember when you load your brush up, wherever you put your brush first is where you're gonna have the most product. So I'm just going to very slowly blend that in and up. And you can see already how much lift that's added to that cheek area. We're really fooling the eye into thinking that this is the cheek area and not this. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other side now. Small circular motions just up the side of that cheek area. I don't know if you can catch that in the camera, but can you see just that little bit of shimmer? It's really a very, very pretty finish. Now I'm going to go in with my blending brush, and this is the same brush that I use my bronzer with, so it has a little bit of product left on it, and that's really going to blend those two colors in together. And I'm just going to blend that out and up. So that it really has a smooth look on that side of the face. Now I'm going to go into a color called Smitten, which is right down here, and it's a little bit of a peachy color. It doesn't have any shimmer in it. It's just gonna add a little pop of color. I'm gonna put a little bit on my brush, tap it off, and then I'm just gently going to tap that right in to that almost side of the center part of my cheeks. What that's going to do is that's going to give us just a little pop of warmth and kind of aliveness to the skin there. Then I'm going to go back in with my blending brush and just blend that out really well. Both sides. And there we have it. A beautiful blush application that's really lifted our face, given us a much more youthful appearance and higher appearing cheekbones when, you know, if I'd put the color here on my cheeks, it would have really dragged my face down. But putting the color here and up really kind of gives a lift and a youthful look to your face. Well, I'm going to pop off now and do the finishing of my makeup and I'll be right back. I hope you enjoyed these beauty tips on All About Blush for the little bit older woman. I know that there are a lot of things that we can do with makeup to help us look a little bit more youthful and glowing, and I enjoy using all of them. So if you found this helpful, it'd be wonderful if you could give me a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed and you'd like to be, just go ahead and hit that red subscribe button down below the video. And if you'd like to be notified when I do a new video, go ahead and click that notification bell. I thank you so much for your time today. I'm so glad you stopped by. I hope you found this helpful. Make it a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.